What is up people, Miss Valley here bringing you another video. So I just wanted to share this. Um, it still is not the um, results for my vlogging channel versus my gaming channel for the month. But um, it does show um, what my current progress is for my gaming channel. I wanted to bring this up because I just found this out yesterday. I, I was looking through the channel because I noticed that I, it was getting quite a bit of subscribers every day. Um, or like every week on my gaming channel so I thought that, that was pretty cool and um I checked the monetization thing right so this is on my gaming channel page right it says uh, I cannot monetize and then it goes through the information that you already did right then it tells you here um, get reviewed after reaching 4,000 watch hours in the previous 12 months and 1,000 subscribers Upon reaching this threshold, your channel will automatically be reviewed to make sure it complies with the YouTube Partner Program and our community guidelines. We'll email you a decision usually within a week. And then it actually tells you how close you are to hitting both. So as you can see, I am more than doubled the watch time. And I'm getting closer and closer to the 1,000 subscriber threshold. Um, and it's just pretty crazy that I am more than double the watch time and still have yet to reach the subscriber threshold. Um, normally it's the other way around. People have people like more than double the subscriber threshold and aren't even close to the watch time threshold. And it doesn't make any sense. It's so weird. Because the subscribers are usually the easiest part compared to the watch time. But luckily I have the watch time on my vlogging channel too, but it's it's a little bit closer. Uh, I'm cutting it a little bit close. Um, in fact, I can probably check. Um, you, the thing is, though, is that you cannot check. Um, you cannot be on this page if your channel already is monetized and already meets it. Um, instead, you actually get this. It just says monetization enabled. And then it just gives you all the, all the stuff. But it does not actually give you anything um, it tells you like how close you are to possibly being demonetized if all of a sudden if like you just quit your channel for like a year then of course your your watch time is going to drop tremendously and then you're going to lose monetization so that actually helps keep um, youtubers from uh, leaving as well if they weren't that popular to begin with because like if PewDiePie just all of a sudden quits for like two years he'd still be monetized the whole time because some his videos will keep getting watch time he'll be fine but for like smaller channels like me if I were to, were to quit like right now for a year my channel would be dead anyway um, if I check uh, analytics and then I can actually go straight to watch time right here and it will tell us okay so that's in the past 28 days um, but I can go up to here and put the last year so last 365 days I'll put that hopefully it actually worked there we go it worked okay it's loading there we go. So my watch time for the last 365 days is 5,004 hours with 119,598 views, 106 of those hours from YouTube Red, and uh, 2,259 of those 119,000 views from YouTube Red as well. Um, but that's the main thing right now is the watch time. So I am over a thousand, a little over a thousand um, hours more than I need, thankfully. But that can drop at any time if, if, um, like my, because I have two videos that still get a lot of views. Um, and if all of a sudden they don't, I might be in danger of losing monetization to this channel too. But for now, it's been pretty good and pretty stable. And um, I thank you guys for watching my videos and watching them fully so that the watch time stays up. And, um, I'm getting subscribers slowly, but I'm still getting subscribers. Um, actually, we can check that right now, too. Where's the subscribers? 
there it is right here. Uh, I think this is still for the whole year, isn't it? Yeah, last 365 days. In a year, I only gained 216 new subscribers. Because I gained 402, but I lost 186, which happens. Um, but for some reason, a lot of people leave my channel after subscribing. It's weird, I don't know. But, yeah, so 216 subscribers in a year is not the greatest but at least it's going up but um i think it's been going up more often recently so i'm gonna check um the last 30 days here we go i'm gonna go to the last 30 days right there last 30 days um and i went up 36 subscribers in the last 30 days so that's pretty good so that's uh uh that if I keep that up, it should definitely be better than uh, 216 in a year. Um, so let's say 36. Let's just say it just stays around 36 per month. Then that would be um, 432 subscribers after taking into account the subscribers you lost. So again, that's still not much, but it's better than nothing. Um, it's just I definitely need a huge kick in the ass um, if I'm ever to reach my goal of that silver YouTube play button at 100,000. It's just I don't know how. And I keep touching my nose. That's because I can feel a cat hair. I don't know where it is, but it keeps tickling. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. So there you are if you're interested in, uh, in this yourself. You go to, I forgot, uh, hold on, it's uh, youtube.com forward slash account underscore monetization. I believe that's what it is, because um, I can't, I think I'm too far back now. What are you doing? I'm using, hold on, there we go, this one, maybe that's it. Yeah, there it is. There is the URL in case you want to check your own channel if you are interested and how close you are to meeting both goals to being remonetized or monetized for the first time. Um, anyway, yeah, so thanks for watching. Oh, did you guys want to check? Um, no, I'll save that for the other. I was going to say my gaming channel, but then it kind of gives it away which channel won. Um, not really, because it's already been past a month and I, so I got to go back a few days. Um, to, to when it actually ended. But yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.